For this video, I want to type for you a fly that I call the Critter Crayfish. Now, this is a fly that I have tied with the intention of dragging across a bluegill spawning bed. I haven't had that opportunity to, but I have taken bass and I'm quite positive this fly would make a great carp fly. Now, we're going to be tying this fly in a size number 8. We're going to be tying it on an Ellen N202 number 8 hopper terrestrial hook. The beads here are not um, bead chain. What they are there is there are two 3.3-millimeter uh, black nickel tungsten beads joined with 30-pound test mono. Um, we have, as a body, we're using a hand back dyed in orange. The antenna is uh, pheasant tail, natural. Also, we have mono eyes uh, built up with epoxy, and I'm going to show the process on how to do that. And we also have these claws. These claws are the same uh, uh, hand back dyed in orange. Now, uh, just uh, as a caveat, I do not know the exact species of this, uh, these feathers. This came in a grab bag from Cabela's with multiple feathers, and um, it's a great grab bag. It's $19. You'll have enough feathers to tie for years, and so that's what I'm utilizing. Uh, we have the antenna, again, pheasant tail, uh, in natural, we're going to use a gold old UTC uh, small copper wire. And for thread, we're using Danville 70 denier in orange. Okay, so let's get to tying. In the vise, we got our number eight terrestrial hook, Allen N202. And so we're going to start our thread just behind two eyes behind the the eye and we're going to come back up to about the midpoint uh, right there okay now hopefully you can see this but I've got a 30 pound test mono here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn this mono and I'm going to chase it. Burn it. We want to get it. Right there. I want it so that it'll go through the bead but not out. So now we're going to take this thread, run it through, run our bead down, and now we're going to cut. Don't use your good scissors for this, and if you do, use the back. 30 pound test mono is pretty heavy. Use some nippers. Nip that off there. Take your other bead, small hole first, because we're going to melt this down. Okay. Now we want to use tweezers. Melt this end down. Work your way down towards the center. And what will happen is you'll end up with that melted mono inside that bead. 
Sometimes you can get them and they'll look pretty. Yeah. And sometimes you won't. Okay, pull them down. I want to melt this down a bit more to get it closer. And what I'm going to do I'm going to take some UV thin. I'm going to drop that in there. Take my light. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to figure eight these here. I would usually super glue them. I'm out of super glue right now. So we're going to go ahead and take our thread all the way up. And now we're going to turn this around. Okay. So we want to take some pheasant tail fibers, pull them 90 degrees, and then just strip them off. I'm going to start building the head here. And just There's a few products or you know materials that we're going to be tying into here. We got our little um, mouth barbels that you usually find on a crawdad. Let's tie in a few more. A little bit shorter. Cut these materials off. We do want to tie in our ribbon material at this time. Just a gold ultra wire. Tie this down and don't worry about bulking this up in this area. You're going to need some bulk. Okay. Now we want to tie in our claws. And for our claws I have selected 
two feathers. They don't need to be exact. If you ever look at a crawdad, crawdads don't have a perfectly symmetrical claws. Usually you got one that's um, bigger than the other. You take this, this feather here, take it, and trim that off, just like that. Take some of this material down. And I'm going to tie, let's tie the far side first. Now you know what we need to do is we need to bulk this up first because I need to get those those um, those materials to spread. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this. Apart from that, we're going to add. I'm forgetting our antenna. And so again, we go with the pheasant. Three, four fibers. We'll make it four. And we're going to split these evenly. There we go. And don't be afraid to exaggerate this part of the fly. Hit my camera. Hope we're still in focus. We are. Sorry, I'm using my S4 to record. Okay, now, so we're going to add. Apart from that, we want to add some of this webby material here and just grab it and just rip it off. Some of this webby material here. And we want to add it to this area of the fly. Building up the head on the crayfish. Don't worry about this looking like slop right now because it's all going to be covered up okay now for those claws because now we have the material to really splay them out we want to tie them in up here This is quite a complex fly. This is not your put two turns and then then adjust this. Then you can lock it down. Take your materials and Okay, take your next one. Try 
trim the tip again rip off all your webbing we're going to tie this one to this side right up here and so we want to look at this fly and see that we're doing good and we are a little time consuming Okay, locked on all these materials. Now, for the next part, we're going to make some eyes. Again, we want to use mono. We want to use our 30 pound test mono and make some eyes here. And so, what we're going to do. Take our mono. And we want to burn that end right there. Take our nippers. Burn this end. And so we got a good length. Now what we're going to do is we're going to color this. There are other ways. I know uh, In the Riffle has done this very same technique. If you want to check out his, his videos on how he does these mono eyes, he actually blends uh, a colored epoxy. You can use colored epoxies. I just take a Sharpie, color the mono because it's gonna it's gonna show through. Okay. Now we're gonna start building these up, and we want to use UV clear fly finish in thick and you want that to kind of meld on there kind of twirl it Pull it on there and turn it upside down, get a teardrop shape. Turn it down and hit it, zap it with your light. Okay, that's set. Again, do the other side. anymore we got to try and make these even okay now hit it with the light and that's set a little uneven now we're going to go back and color these because we got one more layer of UV only we're going to use not the thick we're going to use a flow 
because of flow. It's tack free, supposedly. Okay. So let's put away the thick, put it to the side and bring in the, the flow. This is very fluid stuff right here. Uh oh. And I just spilled it. Make sure you don't hit your bottle with this light. Set. Do the other one. And you just want to coat this stuff. It will coat quite, quite nicely. And so twirl it, hit it. Good. Now, here's the tricky part about this. Because now we gotta tie in these eyes and we wanna tie them in. I'm gonna tie my side in first. tie them in to look like a crawdad crawdad's eyes I'm gonna go ahead and then you cross this other eye over Hitting the camera. And then just work that mono into there. Okay, we got our our eyes, we got our our weight, we got our claws. Now we need our skid, scud back. For the back shell back of this crawdad, I'm using a uh, scud back in orange brown color. And here's a tricky part of this is that you got to tie this there we go there we go you got to tie that and here's what helps if you're having problems with that getting in the way because we got other materials we're going to tie which is a magnet okay try not to pierce your hook okay now We need to take another feather and what we need to do is we need to get all this webbing here using my uh, Pettijon clip, take it, you can use any bulldog clip for this I have actually wrapped the stem but it really bulks okay so we got that okay what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a dubbing loop take my dubbing loop twister 
and I'm going to just bring this dubbing loop bring it all the way up I'm going to add some wax to this thread. I want it to be high tack to grab this material. Now, you see those long fibers and then the short fibers? I want the long fibers up front. So I want that there. Pull this off. And twist our dubbing twister. We're gonna take our thread and run it up forward. And I can tell our eyes are kind of wanting to go everywhere. And so this is what we're gonna do. Is let me twist this a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my dubbing rest to play here. And what I want to do here is take a half hitch tool, throw a half hitch knot on there, get my thread out of the way holding my dubbing loop twister I'm going to go ahead and just work this material in here and I keep hitting my camera so let me just Get that out of the way there. Capture that. Take this material cut it off get this thread here out of there okay now what we're going to do is take a velcro brush and brush this stuff to the sides try and make an even split Get this magnet out of the way. Pull our scud back. Uh oh no. Let me bring this thread up here. Pull our scud back to here. Capture that. I got too many stuff in my hands is the problem here. Let me get that in the other hand. Uh -uh. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. We got our scud back in there. Throw some locking wraps here just to lock it. Take your scud back material, stretch it, cut it. Didn't cut too close, but oh well. Now, we're going to take our rib material. I'm 
and weave this without trapping too many fibers and through here and if we do we can just comb them all out Make sure that wire's well captured. I've just got way too much of this wire. Okay, now that it's captured, we can helicopter it off. Take our wet finish tool. Take some head cement. I'm using Sally Hansen's. Put some there and there it is. Now, this fly, what it's gonna take is a little bit of um, dressing. You're gonna have to dress this fly a bit. Uh, trim out that uh, real webby uh, what I call marabou trim that all out and um, let's take it off here and here you go this will ride just like that it will ride just like that on the ground because of these beads it will flutter down and land and always sit hook up hope you liked it right, feel free to comment feel free uh, to throw in some suggestions hey I'm open to anything and uh, subscribe if you like thank you for watching